welcome to you on behalf of the Naza Foundation and the India Habitat Centre. The Foundation established and funded exclusively by the great Indian painter Sayyid Hazar Raza has been organizing eight annual memorial lectures named after eight great masters. The number of masters of course much larger, but we have lectures named after Kumar Gandhar, Khabib Tanvir, Mani Kaur, Baya Krishna, Agge, V.S. Gaitonde, Charles Korea, and Guru Kelicharan Mahapatra. Many of us have been lucky enough to have watched Kelu Babu both train and perform. He was perhaps one of the greatest gurus that any classical dance in India would have had in 20th century. A guru who left his deep mark on the style itself. My friend Raghav Menon used to say, like ACBC, there is music before Kumar Gandhar and there is music before, after Kumar Gandhar. In similar way, one could say, there is classical dance before Kelu Babu and classical dance after Kelu Babu. So he was a great, one of the great gurus and the greatness of a guru is known how many outstanding disciples uh, he or she produced. And I think the number of outstanding disciples who all became first rate dancers must be the largest from this single guru. So it is, it is appropriate that the Raza Foundation should celebrate and evoke the memory of a great master. We have used a photograph which is, well, much as we appreciate the enthusiasm somewhat in fact time, it might interfere with the ethos here, my dear young lady. So we have used this photograph and this is by the celebrated photographer Avinash Pasricha. And since there is no way of acknowledging it in the invitation card, uh, or here, I acknowledge it here. This is the second Kelu Babu memorial lecture. It's very difficult to get. My there are, I have my prejudices, and the prejudice is quite simple as this. I think there are very few places where the practitioner themselves will speak. So our accent on make the practitioners speak rather than the experts. And the list in dance is pitifully small. So while some other lectures are running into the fourth series, this one with difficulty is running into second today. The first speaker was Dr. Padma Subramaniam, the Bharatanatyam dancer and a scholar. And now we have we are very happy that in spite of now difficulties in transport, etc. Kumudhi ji has agreed uh, to be with us. Now the audience here knows Kumudhi ji quite well. She is a master in three ways, or four ways perhaps. You know, one of the difficulties of being a master is that there are several ways in you can be a master. A, she started a career in dance with Ram Gopal. Many of us have only heard of that legendary figure, seen the photographs, of someone who has worked. <coughs> then she has been with the greatest gurus. Uh, again, legendary figures whom she had worked with. And thirdly, she brought a new ethos and a new insight into Kathak. It is very interesting to note that this kind of an insight, uh, there have been many, uh, shall we say, and I do not say it with any offense to the Kathak performers, 
in Qatar, the, the divorce between scholarship or intellect and between performance is rather big, <laughs> uh, somehow. And there are very few, there was Mohan Rao Kalyan Kulkarji, for instance, there is Kumundi Ji and there was Rohini Bharte, who, there might be some others I do not know of, but these three appear easily in mind. And Kumundi Ji is. And she has also made, tried to make the classical more contemporary. Those of you who would have seen her coat, her coat, but her coat of Sarvesh Shadar Saxena, a poem, which he had choreographed many, many uh, years ago, it brought a completely new, uh, fresh air uh, in Qatar. She is established and ran Kadam, which again has produced some of the most wonderful choreographies that Kathak can boast of. And a large number of those choreographies have been very, very noteworthy. And she has danced through the world and danced into our hearts, if my mates also say so. At least the grey haired can say to the gay haired. <laughs> So we are very happy, Kumutiji, that you have come and now we are all ears what you have to say on the state of Katha. Uh, I must say that I have my own say in the matter, but I shall keep it for the for a rainy day, if there rains Af come today at Afterwards, all. we can but discuss anyway, it afterwards. The, the, the rule of the game is that you can speak for as long as you like, and then we'll open it for comments and discussion with the audience. Although memorial lectures are not supposed to be open, but we will, because where else this audience would get an opportunity to have a tete a tete with you. Before that, let me present you with a bouquet oh. on behalf of the Raza Foundation, all of us. this one. Thank you to the Raza Foundation for having me here. And I see a lot of Kathak dancers also and other dance, dance teachers, dance critics. With the, in the academic world, dance is supposed to be a non-serious subject. So I've ne never really given it a serious thought of talking about it. Today is my debut <laughs> for talking. Of course, I talk a lot otherwise, but not officially like this and not on a platform like this. The subject today is uh, Kathak in our times. I could say that I have seen a lot of Kathak in my times, earlier times. But before we talk about our times, just a little peep into the times before. Like everyone here knows that uh, one traces the history of not Kathak but dance, storytelling music, the ballads, to the Vedic period, then to the Upanishads, then to the Mahabharata, then the Nati Shastra, Sangeet Ratnakar, and it just goes on. Now, the kind of Kathak that we see today is not, let's go, not go too far back, in 50s maybe, 15, uh, 1500 in the time of uh, uh, 
the reign of the uh, kings in in Rajasthan, Man Singh, Jai Singh. There were supposed to be a lot of Kathak families there. Kathaks who said that their jati was Kathak. They were singers, dancers in the temples, in the courtyards, uh, also in the in the Raja's court because these Rajas encouraged them, supported them and they were, today we, we hear the names of Gangani and they, they were there before. This name Par, Parihas and Ganganis were there at that time. Um, the Raja once got all of them, there were a lot of them, a lot of uh, in uh, the Chambal Valley, in the, um, in Charu, in Jodhpur, in Bikaner was the sort of main centre. The Raja once got them together and said that we should give it a name, like let's call it Jaipur Garana, rather than all of you calling the dance by your own names, we call it a Jaipur Garana. So that is how the Jaipur Garana came to be. In UP, again, in the reign of Asifudola, there were the family of what the the Birju Maharaj's family, the first um, Ishwari Prasad, then Prakashji Dayalji, and um, Durga Durga Prasad, who was uh, the guru of Vajidali Shah, and later on in Vajidali Shah's was Achan Maharaj, and then after that you know Achan Maharaj and then Birju Maharaj. <coughs> So that is how the Lucknow school came to be. Actually, they came from a village called Hadia. All the, the, the uh, this family, this family, they came from the village called Hadia. But they settled down in Lucknow because they got work there. And the, and the, um, the, Pesh, the uh, kings, they supported them. They, they got performance every evening in the courts. And, they started to live in Lucknow and that is how the Lucknow Gharana was formed. So we have the Jaipur Gharana and the Lucknow Gharana. Then we also had a Banaras Gharana. Janki Prasad, who was actually from uh, Bikaner, went and settled down in Banaras. And there he taught a lot of students, Krishna Kumar, and recently one Ashok Maharaj had come to Katha Kendra. They are from that Gharana. And that was then named the Baranas Gharana. But Sitariji's father also lived in Banaras. And she claimed that what she did was the Banaras Gharana. But as far as I know and as far as I have myself seen, what they used to do was from the Lakhno Gharana. Their dance and their tukras and their walls were from them. Though, because they lived in Banaras, they called themselves Banaras Kharana. Apart from there, and today, if we talk about Kathak in our times, uh, Chitraj Dash called his Kathak the California Kharana. In, yes, in uh, but now there's so much of Kathak in Delhi that I think after some period it's going to be called the Delhi Karana. Everyone is learning from everyone. And everyone is learning from everyone, copying everyone. Good, that's a very good thing. And it might be now called the Delhi Karana. But before the Delhi Karana, there's one more Karana which is emerging very fast, which is the YouTube Karana. <laughs> the social media today is so popular that everyone is all the time on this mm, and on the YouTube looking at dancers, copying them, doing their... So we are going to get a new gharana called the YouTube gharana. I hope not. Uh, after I had uh, finished my tour with Ram Gopal, uh, I wanted, there I was doing a little bit of Kathak, a little bit of Bharatanatyam, a little bit of Manipuri, it's kind of a 
pot puri, you know. And these, at that time, in England, we used to have this uh, uh, company of Ram Gopal where we dance all kinds of uh, items. It was then called the Dance of the Orient. And uh, after I came back to India, having toured in many countries, uh, I wanted to learn one particular style properly and seriously. And I wanted to learn Kathak. I was talking to Mulkra Jamud once. His wife Shirin was a great friend. And I was at a dinner. He said, I said, I want to learn Kathak. Go. Maybe I can go to Delhi and I'll get scholarship and learn Kathak with Shambhu Maharaj. He said, who's looking at Kathak? Nobody's looking at Kathak. If you want to really dance and take it seriously, learn Bharatnatyam, he said, or even Odyssey. But nobody's looking at Kathak. And, but I'm glad I did not listen to him. I applied for a scholarship for Kathak and I got. And for two years, I learned Kathak. And then one more year with Sundar Prasad for the Jaipur Garana style. Of course, the gurus at that time did not like it if you went, you know, crossed over like that. <laughs> but still, I wanted to learn as much Kathak as I could. There was at that time no Banaras Karana in Delhi, so... Even today, there are very few dancers in the Banaras Karana. There is Sunaina Hazarilal, then there is uh, this... Uh, uh, the boy who wears the peacock feather. Vishal. <laughs> Vishal. Uh, Vishal. <laughs> Vishal Krishna calls himself Sitariji's grandson. But there's so much acrobatic in his dance. I'm sure the old gurus of Banaras Gharana would not have agreed to that, but still. Now, in the Kathak in our times, today everybody wants to learn Kathak. I mean, in my school, girls come to say, I've done my Arangat in Bharatanatyam, now I want to learn Kathak. You know, everybody wants to learn Kathak now. Even in Delhi, there are so many, many, many Kathak dancers. Many Kathak dancers. And now there are universities offering Kathak courses. There are institutions. Kathak has moved from the village to the institution. And there are uh, festivals happening. There are little dance schools, small schools held in drawing rooms, who call themselves academies. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> there are many, many, many opportunities if one wants to learn Kathak. Scholarships are given for learning Kathak. Examinations are taken. Jobs are given for Kathak. Every little school, every little school in the city wants a dancer. Kathak dancer or any dancer for their annual program. To do, just to do their annual program, they want a Kathak teacher. So every school has a, has a dance teacher. So everyone's getting a job also. But what we are seeing in Kathak is very important. I find that what I see in Kathak is more of skill than art. Everyone is, Kathak is competitive today. They bring the classroom to the stage. There is no, no uh, this thing for costuming. No, no, uh, they don't have the basics of aesthetics. The basics of aesthetics they do not have. It's just one, big splash of, of whatever they have learned in the classroom. That is not the way that uh, performance should be. And there is a dearth of Abhinaya in Kathak, mainly. Of course, some 
I'm just generalizing. I'm not talking about individuals who are paying a lot of attention to their dance forms and to what they are doing on the stage. But the basic difficulty, I think, for these dancers is in the teaching. The teaching needs a lot of revival in the institutions, in the classrooms, in the university or wherever it is. Even if you, if you work with, with some material, you have to first season it. Even if you work with wood, you have to first season it. The body is not taken into consideration at all. They immediately start with whatever the syllabus is for the examination. And they start teaching tukras, these parants, tatkars, how much they know about the syllabus. Their committees putting lots of things in the syllabus. So many tukras, so many parants, so many thoughts, so many uh, tals. And it is all skill oriented. It is not art oriented. It's just skill oriented. And that is what we are seeing in the on the on the stage now. So training is a must. How does one train a body? You in before we used in the Guru Shishya Parampara they said it was one to one. Today it's thirty to one in the classroom. How does the teacher teach? But the teach, it has to be. It cannot be such a large number in a classroom. Not for <laughs> dance education. Not for dance. It is, that is just no, no. It has to be a less number. Everybody, everybody that comes to the class is different. Some people are long, some are short, some have long arms, some have short arms. Some have long necks, some have short necks. You have to treat everybody differently. Because these students are not for Kathak. The Kathak is for them. The Kathak is for the students. They, they are treated like they are for Kathak. Kathak ko badhao aage. Karo. That's a wrong way of looking at, looking at the teaching process. First of all, you have to see, you, you have to straighten their spine. You have to put some energy in their legs, not just the feet and not just the footwork, in their legs, in the arms, in their head, in their neck. I mean, all these things are never considered in the classroom. In the, I, wherever I have been, where training is happening in Kathak, there is no body culture, which is the first most important thing. To train the body which can then take the dance teaching. First, the body has to be ready for the training. Most dancers don't know that they have a spine. Most dancers don't know they have a shoulder, they have shoulders, they stand like this, with their shoulders like this, and they're dancing away. It is, it's very sad. It's not a funny story, it's a very sad story that they have not been taught properly. How can they be when every when you when the schools have teachers who have not learned properly? So this just goes on, you know. To dancers who have not learned properly, then they don't know how to teach. So but more and more people are doing Kathak. There should be less people doing Kathak. There should be better training. There should be more attention on the individual, not on class. And in our class, there are many girls who come, many girls. Not on class. On the individual. Every, in, the, in the dance, I feel that every individual has to be treated differently. Every individual. I appeal to all the teachers over here who are sitting, that please treat your students individually. Look at their, the, the length of their arms, look at the length of their, of their necks, to look at the, their body structure. The dance must be designed, that dance, that same dance, has to be designed on that particular body. 
It can't be the same for all. It cannot. It's not aware that you are spray. It is a, it's art. So what you are creating in the classroom is artisans, not artists. But this is an art form. So you have to create artists, not people who just... They learn for years and years and years and when they go to the stage, what do they do? They don't know what to do. They don't know where to look. They don't know how to stand. It is such a sad situation, I think, mostly. And it's just, I think it, it, one cannot take that anymore and I think all, all Kathak teachers who are here should get together and consider this very seriously of how to first do body language before a student can learn the Kathak. After that we, you have your <coughs> curricular and you have your uh, um, whole list of what you have to learn, how many talas you have to do. Like I see, sometimes I see the of some of the schools, bara tal, are? Ek to sikh. Jis tal ke naam unhon ne khud bhi nahi sunne honge. Ham bara tal. Lakshmi tal, Krishna tal, Shiva tal, this. And. What do they do? They do the same thing. Ek matra idhar udhar karke, they do exactly the same thing. Taal mein koi alak, so taal ka koi matta bhi nahi rehta hai. Ek taal, my Guruji Sambhu Maharaj used to say, abhi teen taal karne to sikho, phir dousra taal. Teen taal mein to naacho. So, that's the talking about the training purposes. I think uh, teachers who are serious should get together and draw out a curricula for the training of the body, body culture. That is very important now to be introduced into the Kathak training everywhere, whether it is in classrooms or whether it's in institutions. You know. Now today we see on the stage, what Kathak dancers have, are called choreography. It's a new thing. It's not a new thing. But now everyone wants to do choreography. Why? Because they've got so many students. What will they do with them? Nobody is going to do. So many people cannot do solo items. So they get together and they do choreography. Choreography is something there is no training for choreography in our country. We don't have choreography schools. The universities don't teach choreography like they do in, in countries abroad. They have schools of choreography. We don't know what choreography is. We do dance dramas. We take a story, a Ram Banjata, a Sita Banjata, a Kleshman, and <laughs> other stories. We took other stories and they Patra Banjata. Or then we, we do Word, word to movement Abhinay. They are all dance dramas. They are not at all choreographic pieces. Uh, I had been doing Kathak for many, many years and uh, I had been uh, uh, filling water in my ghada, taking it to the river and Krishna breaking my ghada and me getting drenched in water. I had done that for so many years that I was really tired of that now. <laughs> so when I started, and then other stories also, Shiva Parvati and mostly mythological. So when I started my school and I had some students uh, who could, I thought, will be able to dance on the stage, I said, no stories. I want to do abstract work. Can they be abstract work? Of course they can. One doesn't have to, the dance doesn't have to lean on a story. It's an art by itself. So it doesn't have to lean on something, on a story. But audience loves to see stories. So in the beginning we were not very successful with what. Though I must say that uh, 
my work somehow was seen, you know, like my first work was Dhapkar and Venuna, then Dhapkar was, uh, Dhapkar means Dharkan, the pulse. I was trying to look for the pulse of the Kathak dance. Where is the pulse of the Kathak dance? I am only seeing the outside garb. What I have seen just now is the outside garb of the Kathak dance. I want to see where is the pulse. So that is what I was trying to discover and that is why. So while I did all these abstract items, I started teaching myself choreography. When one person is standing, what happens? When two people come together, what happens to this energy and the space in between the two people? The potency of the, of the space changes. You see, when two people are standing away from each other, but they come, the potency of the space is different, but they, when, when they come closer, the potency changes. So the space changes. So I said, choreography is about space, not only about bodies, dancing bodies, it's also about space and it's about time. How much time you give something to a hand? I mean, if, if you put your hand like this, it means something. If it goes fast, the meaning changes. So the time factor is very different, is very important in choreography. And the space. For instance, if, if you tell your student, do this. The hand is here, now the hand is here. But choreography, it's not the hand. It's the space in between the in between the two spaces. The dance is happening here. It's not happening here. It's not happening here. It's happening here. That's what you have to look at. That is how I started teaching myself choreography. And then I started to look at design books. Design. I had no training in choreography. I didn't know what uh, design books. Even furniture designing by Charles Eames, you know. <laughs> because one sees beautiful patterns there. Architects. There's a very famous architect in Ahmedabad, Doshi. I used to keep harassing him, saying, "How do? What do you think before this? What? How, what are your ideas about this? Why did you make that window there?" <laughs> he says, "That is for the fresh air, the evening air too." So I make a window in my choreography for the space to come through. So that is how you treat space. In choreography, it's the structure in space. It's not your hands and your body and your, your movement or your tukda or your parant or your, that is not. It's the space in choreography. But today we have to really start producing matter, material to teach choreography because we don't have it. We don't have it. And then the flow pattern. What, what is it that you make first? The patterns on the floor. How do you use the floor? How do you use the space around the dancer? This the, where, where does dance happen? The space around the dancer, it happens in this space around the dancer and then there's a vacuum inside you which you have to fill with a lot of uh, uh, dignity. The dance has to be given dignity. Today I feel that Kathak doesn't, it's, it's a wonderful technique but it lacks dignity today, the way it is, it is presented on the stage. People just come and show their skill. Wow, wow, wow. Kitne chakkar mare. You see, this is the, this is the criteria. Are you, apne so mare, wo to ekso aat marta hai. You see, this is the criteria of how you judge a Kathak dancer. Then, I remember in, it was I think in 1935 or 36 that Martha Graham came to India. That is when 
it it was in 1930s or 40s that that the modern dance started in the west in america martha graham came to india and i was a little girl and i had gone to see her with my father and uh, she did nothing she just stood there and moved there lay on the floor and i remembered asking my father when is she going to dance <laughs> No. <laughs> so, you know, we are looking at then in the 30s, 50s, they were looking at dance like that. Today, some of us are looking at dance like that. Hmm? They are using the floor, they are using the space around them, they are using lights. Lighting is another thing, it's playing a big role in the, in the in today's choreography I, I mean, it's almost become a kind of partner in, in in your dance lighting it's beautiful the way the modern dark technology we should use it we, and costumes most kathak dancers these solo dancers and they like to wear very bright costumes for some reason extremely bright they think that is the in thing and people like the bright costumes and very bright, you know. <laughs> and uh, it, it is really, it hurts the eyes. But some people like that. And I think that we should have a consortium of Kathak dancers and thinkers to advise them. If we are really concerned about Kathak, we should all get together and we should advise them. Ki, please, is not wear this, you know. <laughs> huh? Huh? Bright, they will wear a bright turquoise blue and a pink pyjama, you know. <laughs> yeah, and they will wear mukut on their head and after three chakras the mukut goes like this, you know. <laughs> so, it, it, it's really a sad state. Sad state in Kartak in our times. <laughs> so, I would really like some people to come forward and to get together and think very seriously about how to now advise, because there are so many, many, many dancers. Many, many dancers. The Kathak, Kathak scene has really grown and there are many dancers all over all over India, not only, not only in Delhi. All over the world. All over the world, yes. You know, uh, in San Francisco, in the India paper, I counted 23 Kathak schools, people giving lessons, 23 classes of Kathak. They, the students go once a week. Then there are holidays, Christmas and holidays of once a week. Then when they come to India, they say, I've been learning for five years, six years. That, <laughs> yeah, I've been learning for ten years, you know. So they've gone ten times to the class. They don't know how to do tatkar. Then they say, Aap hume wo umrao jau ka gana sikhai? I mean, things like that. It's, it's become a very sad affair, really. 23, these are teachers, 23 teachers teaching Kathak. They have learned some two, three months from somewhere. They know some Kathak, Tatkar, and um, some two, three Tukras. Then every holiday, they come to India and they shop for more. They come shopping for more Tukras. Huh? Side by side, along with their sarees, they also shop for Kathak Tukdas and then they take them back and that will last them for another year. It will last once a, once a week. What will they learn? Then they will not come to anyone's car, they will not come to anyone's car. What will they learn? What will they learn? Okay. And this is what is happening. But you can't stop that. How can you stop that? You can't stop. But you don't have to because they will not get anywhere. <laughs> You don't have to bother. But what you have to bother about is 
the children, the students who are doing Kathak seriously here today, they have given, they have given years of their life to learn Kathak and they want to become Kathak dancers. So we have to really seriously think about them. What are we going to do about them? How are we going to advise them? Will we take, say, each one of us take ten dancers and advise them? Something we have to, we have to, uh, to do, to, otherwise Kathak, one cannot look at Kathak. I mean, ten minutes of Kathak, you've seen, you've seen it all. You go to the, hmm, you've seen it all. Abhi tukra, abhi tukra, tukra, abhi tukra. Takkar and chakkar. Because that gets the applause, so they do that. And some people are turning faster than the others, competing, classroom, no dignity, no aesthetics, bad costuming. So, I really don't know about choreography. Uh, huh? Abhinay. Abhinay is the part which is highly neglected in Kathak, highly neglected. When we were learning, we only learnt Thumris and the Gat Bhavs. And the Thumri was all Shringar. It was all Marad Bindadin's Thumris. Of, it was all Shringar Ras. Of course, there was some uh, the basic Ras was Shringar. So the boys didn't take to it. The boy, the boys who learned, they didn't take to that. So they did only tatkar and chakkar and footwork. Slowly, the girls also got tired of doing the same thing. So they also stopped. Like I stopped doing all that shingara, and uh, it was the same all the time. And every thumri has the same kind of thing. The the matka will come in every thumri, you know. The huh? The gungat will come. Gungat will come in every thumri. The chodo hat will come in every thumri. See, so it was getting a bit boring. We didn't have any other material for abhinay. We didn't have material. So it is only after. That is why I started to doing abstract because I was getting a bit tired of the same thing all the time. But today. We can take on other subjects. One doesn't stop us from taking on other lyrics, other subjects, other poetry. Poetry, we have such beautiful poetry in our country. Like he said that I, I did something to Sarveshwar Daya's quote. That was very difficult, Abhinay, to do, but one has to take the initiative and uh, to do all that. But most of the dancers in Kathak, I am sorry to say, are not very literate. Most of the, 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 the professional dancers today, they are not very literate. So, for them, we have to choose themes which they will understand. They have to understand what they do. They can't just mime, then it becomes mime, it doesn't become a binay. You can mind. Then there is word to word to word of binay. Phool aaya to phool dikhaye, chand aaya to chand dikhaye, pani aaya to pani dikhaye. No word to word of binay. Then there can be mood to word of binay. Word kuch har, lekin uska mood ban raha hai. Uska mood alag ban raha hai. Word to mood of binay. Then there can be mood to mood of binay. When there are no words, and yet you're creating a mood, and it is, it is meaning something to you. You can use the Kathak technique for that. The Kathak technique for that is really very good because it gives you a lot of space and liberty. The Kathak technique gives you a lot of liberty to it. It's not absolutely like you can't do this and you can't do that. Another thing about the Kathak technique is it travels outside your body. See, if you do this, it can travel outside your body. So it can create more space and more, it, it can create a different mood also. It doesn't stop here. 
like this. It it goes further. The kathak technique itself, the body, the body language. Uh, we have to. Uh, it is after all a very. Uh, um, it's a living art form and a living art form is always uh, continuously moving and continuously alive and continuously changing. Change is, as they say, the only constant change. And uh, I hope that the younger people today who are dancing Kathak will change for a more professional and more aesthetic performance rather than just show their classroom work on the stage. Any more, any questions about that? No, now we will open it if you huh? unless you have to say something more. No, I would like to say after the questions. Uh, sure. We'll, we'll, just a minute, we we'll have the yeah. mic come to you. The first one has to raise the hand. No, no, not you. You can come later. Not you. Or if not at all. I think the students about whom I really I worry about them. I really worry about them. I really worry about them. They're such lovely people, such honest people. They work so hard. And yet when they get onto the stage, they say nothing. It's like when you talk a lot and say nothing. They dance a lot and they mean, it means nothing. Hmm? That is what happens. After all that they have acquired in terms of knowledge, it has to mean something. It has to convey something. It doesn't convey anything. So physically. <laughs> 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 once ask questions. Ha. Bolo. My, my. No, I don't have any questions to ask, but still, since ha. someone is asking, I expect the young people to ask questions. It's a rare occasion that Kumudi gives with us. Yeah. And we can draw much more from her than what she has. You have been very miserly, actually. Huh? Abhinay ki baat, jo last mein aapne ki, us pa thoda saor batayin. Because uh, I would say that the material available to Kathak dancers is enormous. Hmm? Enormous material is available to Kathak dancers. Yes, it is. Sahitya, From the Sahitya. From the Sahitya. From the Sahitya. Geya Sangeet, jo humare liye Uttar Bharat mein, aur Uttar Bharat ki parifasha, aap Pashtun se lekar Kurat tak ja sakte hain. जिस समय यहाँ जो चीज लिखी जा रही थी मेरा भाई अनानक ने जो लिखा भाई आसाम में भी लिखा जा रहा था और दिस दे पैरेलल्स बिकॉज़ आई हैव बीन टीचिंग अभिनय टू सर्फिया डांसर्स आल्सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम कथा कैन ओनली सी ऑल ऑल ऑफ देम हैव डन ह्यूज माउंट ऑफ लिटरेचर्स अवेलेबल एंड म्यूजिक इज अवेलेबल इफ एट दैट टाइम गुरुस हैव टॉट अस जस्ट अ हैंडफुल ऑफ थुमरीज फ्रॉम देयर ओन फैमिली ट्रेडिशंस the poverty is not with Indian culture or Indian sahit. No, it is. Is the poverty it is. is with the teaching. limited kathak uh, paribar, kathak uh, teaching uh, uh, that was available to young people at that time. Shastras are available. Shastras are very accessible to young people who are much more intelligent. Ekhi cheez ko leka, 33 sanchari bhavas ka ki paribhasha hai. आप एक ही स्थाई भाव लेकर उससे दूसरे तमाम भावों पर जोड़ के कितने प्रकार से संचारी बता सकते हैं भाव संचार की जहां तक बात है कथा में संचार तो बहुत कर लेते हैं कथा का संचार तो काफी अवेलेबल है और कथक की भाषा तो बहुत सुंदर आप अपने बताया है जो कथक की भाषा जो बता सकती है वो शायद दूसरे विधाओं में कुछ दूसरे तरीके से होता है तो मैं आपसे निवेदन करूंगा कि इस विषय पर कुछ और हमें बताएं विशेष कर ये बात सही है आप जो कह रही हैं कि घड़ा रहेगा ही घड़े 
टूटेगा यानी वे ड्रेन एंड सोन सोफोर्थ एंड छेड़छाड़ की बात रहेगी ही लेकिन उसके अतिरिक्त अगर कुछ भी आप याद करके हमें बताएं तो ऑफ दैट टाइम 1950s पर्टिकुलरली योर 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 राइट दैट देयर इज सो मच अवेलेबल एज फार एज द लिटरेचर इज कंसर्न बट व्हाई हैज नॉट एवर बीन डन एंड Why have we not have ever done a binai to that? I'll tell that you is what I'm saying. That it is now that we should get together and. I'll tell you the reason why it has not been done. That will be a bit critical. <coughs> When I was teaching back at Bhav, almost twenty years back in Padatik in Kolkata, to senior dancers, I asked them, "Aap log bad ke kyon nahi karte hain?" I to apni icha se jo maine dekha hai. जब से जन्म हुआ तब से उसके आधार पर मैं सिखाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं जबकि मैंने भी सीखा नहीं था आपने खुद ही बताया कि सिखाया नहीं जाता था तो कहा गया कि नहीं पहले तो सब चुप रहे दे वेरी सीनियर नाउ चुप रहे उसमें से एक को बहुत हिम्मत हुई जब मैंने डांट लगाई हमें मना किया गया है हम ये कोशिश भी ना करें आप सोच हमें मना किया गया कि इसके बारे में सोचे भी मत आप खैर ये तो पता नहीं मुझे लेकिन शायद उसका वो हुआ ही नहीं है 15 इयर्स बैक आई इनिशिएटेड संगीत नाट्य अकेडमी की तरफ से तीन महीने का वर्कशॉप आठ नई ठुमरियां जो कथक में कभी प्रयुक्त नहीं हुई हैं गुरु जगदीश प्रसाद जी जो सीनियर ठुमरी टीचर कलकत्ता में एट यंग सिंगर्स वर विलिंग टू सिंग फॉर कथक वर टॉट दीज ठुमरीज and we selected i think about eight dancers who were to do those comedies they performed the comedies and the request was this comedies should get into their repertoire and they should teach their young students hmm. so, but phir kya hua kaise kaise family ke hain phir kya hua oh hua kuch cheeze ab unhone kuch kuch cheeze rakhi unhone kitni rakhi main nahi janta mujhe request kiya gaya main uth ke do char cheeze main ke do thumri main nahi utha li ek dadara main karta hi hu जरा ठहरो बलम रात बहुत पड़ी रात बहुत पड़ी बात बहुत पड़ी सामान्य नायिका सामान्य नायिका जिसको किसी को हिम्मत ही नहीं होती है स्टेज पर करने की वो मैंने किया एंड इट इज पार्ट ऑफ माई रिपोर्ट सो बट इट शुड बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन ऑल द इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ऑल द स्कूल शुड बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एवरीवेयर कथा केंद्र कथा केंद्र डायरेक्टर चेयरमैन ऑफ कथक केंद्र द ग्रेट म्यूजिकोलॉजिस्ट उनके गाइडेंस में एक तय किया गया था सीरीज ऑफ वर्कशॉप्स वेर एक्सपर्ट्स ऑफ म्यूजिक ट्रेडिशंस वुड बी कॉल्ड एंड दे वुड टीच देयर कॉम्पोजिशंस टू सिंगर्स एंड द गुरुज वुड पिक देम अप एंड टीच देयर क्लास सबसे पहले वर्कशॉप जो पंद्रह दिनों के लिए हुआ था वो ब्रज संगीत के ऊपर था ब्रज संगीत की रचनाएं सिखाई उन्होंने उसके बाद इस प्रकार से पूरा लाइंड अप मान संगीत हो आपका बनारस के पूर्व का संगीत और इनफैक्ट गुजरात की भी रचनाएं और वहाँ उड़ीसा तक की रचनाओं का प्लान था तो ये एक आपने जो कहा है कि इट हैज टू बी वेल कंसर्टेड एफर्ट इट हैजल्यूटली वो एक ही वर्कशॉप हो पाया तो वो एक ही वर्कशॉप हो पाया उसके बाद हुआ नहीं बिकॉज़ ही वांट्स टू से समथिंग उनको हाँ थैंक यू कुमार बैंक फॉर दिस लेक्चर सो यू जस्ट सेड दैट लॉट आई मीन वी हैव सीन इट एंड मोस्ट पीपल हियर नो हाउ लॉट ऑफ इंस्टिट्यूशनल ट्रेनिंग ऑफ क्लासिकल आर्ट्स सीम्स टू हैव मिसरेबली फेल्ड इन दिस कंट्री it's a fact you know we have to deal with these facts they are very hard hitting and they're not real they're not good reality um sri ram bharatiya kala kendra in the 70 years has not produced 70 soloists it was your earlier batches you know when you had the great gurus you know you had you and you know your contemporaries maya rao and so on and so forth you had an odd soloist here and there same thing with the kathak kendra at this point you i mean in so many years of kathak kendra you don't even have so many soloists you know no. and then you also said how it's important for uh, individual gurus uh, i mean the importance of having one is to one ratio yes you know so the onus is as much as on the guru as much as it's on students who are interested 
you know. So, I mean, I ask you, what is the solution? I mean, you, as you said, you have a lot, lot of numbers, there are hundreds of Kathak dancers and for, it's not just Kathak, I mean, whatever you're talking about, your shopping happens in Bharatanatyam, it's happening in every other dance form. You know, it's the same, it's the, Malab Bhar Jaga Vaisehi Virana hai. There's no, uh, you know, competition. So the thing is, is, what is the solution you have? I mean, is there a solution to this sort of problem? I feel we have, as I said... I don't think that is what the talk is about. We are talking about individual items that one can do and what is available. It's a general approach to Abhinaya, how to evoke the emotion, how to do it. I mean, I remember Kalanidhi Narayan and teaching her students. She said, uh, I am not worried about compositions. A general approach to Abhinaya, how do you treat it? You just take a hand and when it moves in a particular way, what meaning does it convey? Are you internalizing the entire experience? There are so many other things to be taught. The actual compositions can come later on. But a general approach of what Abhinaya is, what it means, what you want, I mean, I think that has to be taught, and I don't think the teachers are good enough to teach that. They are not able to teach that in the first place. Then later on, the second stage is when you begin to think of actual compositions, mm. where you apply this technique and then you do something with it. But otherwise, if you are going to teach them composition, it's the same thing that everybody is going to parrot out the same thing. They are illiterate, as you say to me. You are you're right, but you see, the thing is, who is teaching it now? How many people are teaching that now? See, how many people are teaching that? We don't have the number of gurus as, as to the number of students wanting to learn. So there are too many students to one, one teacher. Maybe you should get Abhinaya specialist. No, I, I, apart from Kalani Dinarayana, has there been another one such teacher? She was one who, you know, such a rare uh, phenomenon. Yeah, but that was also one-to-one. -one. No, no, one-to-one -one is fine. Even if you have one-to-one -one teaching, are the teachers capable of teaching? You could have one-to-one -one teaching, but the teachers have to be that good to teach. And I have this one point to say that compositions are the tools with which you teach Abhinay. So you cannot just teach because I remember one of the, you know, the educated kind, she came to me, I want to learn Abhinay, can you just teach me Abhinay? These, when we learn, even a child will, you know, nursery rhyme, you have some composition that you, you know, then you explore various levels of it. So compositions are a tool to learn Abhinay. So compositions are important. But here the students become the tools. No, so we have to think of compositions for young children. Yes. Oh, unko अगर आपके पास 10 साल का बच्चा आता है तो that thing has to be developed. What comp? They are beautiful compositions. Yeah, compositions for different levels. Different levels. So the teachers have to be. No, but you are. You see, it is. There, 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 there are whole lot of performers here. And the instruments, although somewhat indirectly. Kubi Bhai, could it be that the paucity right now in the whole structure of internalizing Abhinaya and the really, true, really beautiful Abhinaya that, that, that reaches across and, and is it because that actually that's something we need to learn right now. It was never done in Kathak. It was done at a very, at a level that Aap Batareo Chher Chhar, hmm. these very simplistic thundis and there are a lot of people who have been trying uh, to uh, approach different uh, compositions uh, in various, from various different styles, but I only talk of Kathak. And it's a learning process for the teachers themselves, if they are honest enough, because uh, as Aapne Ka Ki both the whole approach, like how Kalanithi Ji taught, and I, that, that whole approach was something that in Kathak we didn't, we were only exposed to these simplistic one-to-one tumris -one and therefore it depended on each individual dancer to reach out, find compositions, find that that place in their heart and mind to be able to expose. So would, do you think that we should, instead of saying that we should, that we all need to learn now? I mean, it's, it's something that yes. we're not good at it, so we have to do it. Yeah. That the formation that it's okay, there's something that we are missing, 
that it's being very simplistic and some people are just by naturally they are good some are naturally not i mean some people are just natural good actors and they they emote from the heart and therefore they are able to take on any of the compositions and convert it but it's not a teaching process there is no process like choreography yeah. you you said apne apne ke apne apne aap you apne aap similarly there is no process that we have learned of learning abhinaya like we learn ritta or nritya or any of the technical yeah. even my and guruji used to say abhinaya sikhaya nahi jata Yeah, that's what she's saying. And secondly, I also feel that uh, in today's Rajmatha's uh, environment, you find um, when you want to teach Abhinay to children, the classes, you know, their attendance, uh, their uh, they are, I think they are more um, drawn towards the sparkling part of it, and the Abhinay part of it, when you say, okay, take a hand.
माफ कीजिए जो हमारे पुराने परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स हैं पर्टिकुलरली डांस वो या तो भक्ति में है या आस्तिकता में है या रीति काल में है अलंकार और श्रृंगार में है और वह मुख्य भाव जमाने का नहीं है इसकी तरफ सिर्फ कथक को नहीं सारी परंपरागत कलाओं को चेतावनी है ये वरना आप नष्ट हो जाएंगे हम नष्ट हो जाएंगे और मनुष्य तो नष्ट हो ही रहा है इसकी तरफ जब तक नहीं आते जब तक हम कॉस्मोस के साथ जीव के साथ जड़ के साथ चेतन के साथ जुड़ने की क्षमता नहीं बढ़ाते तब तक बात सिर्फ हम कथक की कैसे करें मैं नहीं समझता हूँ मैंने आपने जब आरंभिक प्रयोग किए थे मैं राष्ट्रीय नाट्य विद्यालय की तरफ छात्र के तौर पर भी वैसे भी कई लड़के हमारे भी थे तो हम कथक केंद्र की तरफ आते थे और हमने आपके कार्य देखे थे तो वह अलग बात थी लेकिन चूंकि अशोक जी बैठे हैं यहाँ तो शब्द से अधिक एब्सट्रैक्ट क्या है अक्षर और या अंक से अधिक एब्सट्रैक्ट क्या है अक्षर और शब्द को आप इस्तेमाल कर ही रहे हो तो उसको सिर्फ लिटरल मत हो जाने दीजिए एब्सट्रैक्शन विल टेक केयर ऑफ इट सेल्फ एंड ए मॉडर्न चाइल्ड और न्यू चाइल्ड has the inborn capacity to relate and identify more than himself he can immediately imagine a bird where bird is not there so us taraf unki kalpana aur ehsaas ko badhane ki koshish kare to hum samajhte hain samasya thodi zyada aasan ho sakegi aur isliye aarambh mein शायद किसी डांस फॉर्म की तरफ नहीं जा करते फील की तरफ जाना चाहिए हमें याद है गुरुजी हम सेकंड ईयर के 63 की बात कर काजी साहब ने गुरुजी को भी बुलाया था वाला सरस्वती भी आई थी और जिस फील में ये लोग लेकर के गए उस समय तो कॉस्ट्यूम पहन करके नहीं आए थे हमने बालाजी से पूछा था कि मैडम आपने कल सप्रू हाउस में जब किया तो आप तो ये साड़ी पहन करके कर रही थी लेकिन हमने ये महसूस किया तो क्या आप भी स्वयं उतना महसूस कर रही थी उन्होंने मेरी तरफ देखा था वही स्टूडियो थिएटर रविंद्र भवन के तीसरे मंजिल की बात मेरा बेटे अगर मैं हर बार महसूस करूं और तब तो मैं महसूस कराऊ तो मेरा क्या होगा एक बार और दूसरी बात उन्होंने पूछी कि मैं महसूस करूं और तुम महसूस करो तो बड़ी बात क्या है बड़ी बात तो तब है कि मैं अब नहीं महसूस करती मैं यूं करती हूं और तुम महसूस कर तो ये सिद्धि तक गए तो वो एहसास से सिद्धि तक जाने की बात हो सकती है और आज भी हो सकती है ये तो जीव में संभावना है ये ये कुछ बातें मेरे दिमाग में आई आपकी बात सुन कर क्या क्या समझ में नहीं आया अन्य शैलियों के अलावा कथक में एक बहुत बड़ा प्लस पॉइंट है उसकी अमूर्त भाषा का उसकी जो टेक्निक है केवल उसके मात्र से वो बहुत कुछ कह सकता है अभिनय का काम केवल फुटवर्क के द्वारा भी बहुत सुंदर हो सकता है तत्काल कितना कुछ कह सकती है हम लोग साधारण सा देखते हैं जब शिव तांडव या ये जो लाभ से और तांडव का एक साथ होता है नमक शिवाय नमक शिवाय उसके अंदर हम देखते हैं कि किस तरह से कोमल पश्चात है किस तरह से उद्धव पश्चात है उससे 
भाव व्यक्त हो रहे हैं शिव के और पार्वती के अंदर तो क्या कथक अपनी अपनी इस संपदा का इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकता आदि ने वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन क्या कथक Other people are here. Yeah. Younger people, I want yeah. to speak. You are all very knowledgeable. You are all victims. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're it creates a dialogue. Yeah. I mean, there is a lot of dialogue, even in the footwork. Yeah. You know, and then there is a dialogue with the tabla and the and the and the footwork. It's all like a dialogue. It's a bhasha. It's a kind of bhasha. But we are talking about the abhinay. ब्यूटीफुल हाँ Right now, 
but is the lyrics in Brajboli can still be written for any new? Uh, no, I don't understand. What did you say? Lyrics? I mean, there is enough sahitya. I mean, you don't have to create your own lyrics. There is enough sahitya. Yeah. So huh? Whatever is available, we should use that. That is what you are saying. Whatever is yeah, if you want to write, you you won't. Nobody will stop you. You write your own lyrics. Anybody else? And then Kastwa had the last question. He has been the question for a while. No, but. At least, please. You wait. Yeah, I know that there's a problem with a lot of. There's a problem with a lot of audience who do not understand Kathak, the language of Kathak, the grammar of Kathak, how do we invite those audience to attend the performances and to explore the art as, as an audience, as a spectator? You can't do that. You can't choose your audience. And all those who want to come will come. But uh, I do all want to say that we have to put in a great deal of work in the Kathak form. We have to add a lot of uh, new uh, sahitya in it. We have to brush up the technique. We have to uh, be very careful with the body language, which is missing, which is totally missing. The body language is missing. I mean, when a uh, body has danced for 10 or 12 years, it is okay, it is doing something. And yet, one can find flaws in it. You have to start first with the proper body language. That is very important. You can't just throw your feet around and hands you. I mean, you don't throw your arms. It's the movement which you do. It has to have a definite journey. If you move your arm, it has to have a, it has to have a definite journey. That is the vocabulary. But most dancers just throw their arms. In the sum, actually, they just throw their arms and the audience does wah wah, you know, as if that was the sort of culmination of. So, body language is the most important thing that the Kathak field has to look after. So, I don't know the solution for it, but on my own, I look after that. In my school, I look after, in my, on my own. And I think that every teacher has to first start with the body language and not with the tukras and tihais and the footwork. The Abhinay, there is enough material and you are privy to that and you can choose from that wonderful material which is already available and uh, it is recorded in the Sangeet Natak Academy, right? Yeah, in the Academy, of course it's there. Elsewhere also it's available now. And you don't have to only go to, there are so many books available, so many, so much is available outside, so much is available, you can always, you know. So one doesn't have to do only Thumris, one doesn't have to do only Shringar. Hmm? प्रायोगिक परंपराएं जो भारत की हैं उससे मिलता है सिखाने का सिलसिला तरीका दूसरा अभिनय के टेक्स्ट के इंटरप्रिटेशन का तरीका परफॉर्मेंस में ये भी अवेलेबल है हमारे ट्रेडिशन में बहुत शास्त्र में भी और the only thing um, that I want to say, it's not really a question, I don't know the solution to it. I hope the gurus can help with this. The, I just feel that the mediocrity that we're talking about, that we have quantity of dancers but the quality is missing, it's happening and it's existing and it's flourishing is because uh, mediocrity is getting appreciated. Yes. So how, how do you deal with that? How do you Tell your, tell your audience that no, this is not good what you're clapping for, what you're standing for. Standing ovation these days is like, you know, <laughs> it's so common. So, I mean, I think that is the problem because uh, all these dancers that we say, you know, who are not good enough, that you were just talking about, they're on stage and they, they feel very good about themselves after the kind of response they get. So, how do you think about that? <laughs>
Sorry, that's okay. By trying to improve the quality of the dance. By trying to improve the quality of the dance. If they, I mean, you say that mediocrity is being appreciated. If it, the dance is better, they appreciate that. It's not that they appreciate only mediocrity. They will improve the quality of your dance. Yes, the last one. Namaskar, madam. Uh, my name is Sylvia. I'm uh, learning from Purina Shrimariji. And uh, I just uh, want to share one my experience uh, about Abineya. When I was uh, a kid, I started to learn uh, in my country, I'm Italian, Western in classical ballet. And uh, actually, after maybe four or five years uh, then I was learning, um, my teacher, she started to ask to her student, uh, putting, playing different music, different mood music, uh, to ask her to do some step and to follow the mood of the music. There was not to, like, uh, I, we should not uh, have uh, show any story, just the mood by our face and by our body movement or step. So I was thinking while here in, uh, we were talking about the scare of the students sometimes or not interesting. Uh, about to learn Abinaya because there is this literature and uh, something that some people are not confident with uh, because maybe they never study or they are not interested about. If it could be like as a first approach to play different raga with different mood and start to the first approach. Sure, after it needs the poetry because it's a or composition. But just uh, for how to say, as the first approach, could be right or it could not be done uh, with Katak. Just I wanted to. Just one. There are a lot of exercises for little children to teach Abhinav. For instance, there is one exercise which I practice. Tear a piece of paper, and there is a fan here, and the paper flies like that, and let the child run after it and imagine what it is. It may be a bird, may be a flower. If it is a bird, what will be his abhinaya? The bird is faster than him. What is the bird? Is it a blue bird? It's a green one? It's a brown one? And the child imagines what it is. Not a bird, it's a flower. So what, what flower? Is it a big flower? It's a small flower? So the child starts imagining and brings abhinaya to the face. That is the first exercise of Abhinay. Little exercises like that are very important. And they should be done in schools for little children. For bigger children, there are other exercises which we do. So we do have exercises, but not muscular exercises, but exercises like this. Experience, exercise with experience. Read a story, it's a sad story. So now react to that. It's like that. Okay, sorry. Fine. Well, uh, uh, the gentleman here asked, is there time in dance? I don't know whether there is, but at least we are bound by time here. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, and anyway, uh, one of the interesting, uh, I mean, this is a very interesting uh, presentation, somewhat candid. Uh,
पाकिस्तान में शास्त्रीय संगीत में शास्त्रीय नृत्य में संभवतः रंगमंच में भी कुल मिलाकर यही समस्या है कि हम मीडियोक्रिटी का क्या करें खराबी का क्या करें बर्बादी का क्या करें मैं अभी सोच रहा था कि अब किशोरी अमोनकर की मृत्यु के बाद शास्त्रीय कम से कम हिंदुस्तानी शास्त्रीय संगीत में महानता का क्या होगा क्योंकि संभवतः वो अंतिम महान गायिका थी तो अब ये तो एक बड़ी समस्या है हमारा काम रजा फाउंडेशन में इन समस्याओं को सुलझाते रहना है और अगर बहुत ज्यादा आग लग जाए तो बुझाएंगे भी लेकिन आग ससरी लगे तो पहले तो वो कोशिश हम करते हैं और आप सब आए इसके लिए बहुत बहुत आभार सत्रह अप्रैल को इंडिया हेबिटाट सेंटर के ही एम थिएटर में हम किशोरी अमोनकर को एक प्रणति देंगे आप सब जिनको अभी भी महानता के प्रति कृतज्ञता का भाव है अगर है तो भी महाभाव प्रदर्शन भी अब कम होता जाता है सब लोगों को लगता है इतिहास में हम ही पहले हैं हमारे पहले तो कोई इबारत थी ही नहीं आ, दूसरी बात कहते कहते ही कथक कथक की अपनी कविता बहुत सशक्त है जिसकी ओर इशारा भी हुआ कि हमको जैसे कथा पर भी निर्भर नहीं करना चाहिए या उसी पर नहीं बोझ डालना चाहिए वैसे हो सकता है कि कविता पर भी नहीं डालना चाहिए कथक की अपनी कविता का अधिक इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है जो है लेकिन जिसको इस्तेमाल करने की जुगत या कल्पनाशीलता संभवता छीनती जाती है या कम होती जाती है नारी प्रदर्शनकारी कलाओं की एक समस्या यह है कि उनका समकालीन साहित्य से बल्कि समकालीन कलाओं से कोई संवाद ही नहीं रह गया यह उस देश में हो रहा है जिस देश में 19वीं शताब्दी तक वही सारी बिंबावली थी वही प्रतीक व्यवस्था थी वही कथानक थे जो सब में थे और आधुनिकता की झोंक में हम लोगों ने एक दूसरे से बात करना भी बंद कर दिया हमको खबर ही नहीं है क्या हो रहा है तो कुछ इसकी भी चिंता होनी चाहिए जो एक युवा नर्तकी ने पूछा था कि हम नए ब्रज में कुछ अब ब्रज में नए लिखने वाले शायद कम हो गए हैं लेकिन खड़ी बोली में लिखने वाले बहुत लोग हैं जिनका आप प्रयोग कर सकते हैं कुछ लोगों ने किया भी है ने ने किया है प्रेरणा ने किया है और लोगों ने भी किया है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं है सामग्री तो है लेकिन उस सामग्री के होने की आपको खबर नहीं है और आपकी जिज्ञासा भी नहीं दुर्भाग्य से सब लोग मुतमिन हैं तो हमारा काम थोड़ा थोड़ा बेचैन करना है और बाकी तो खुदा आपको प्रसन्न रखे अगर आप विज्ञान पृथ्वी से प्रसन्न है तो प्रसन्न रहिए अगर थोड़ी बहुत बेचैनी आज शाम पैदा हुई हो तो हम लोग कृतकार धन्यवाद